So today I'm playing around in the VCV rack. Um, this is the uh, the application itself, standalone, no DAW integration. So this is kind of the like free version. Um, this is sort of I'm just going new new patch here, and I'm just deleting devices because uh, today we are going to talk about FM modulation in VCV rack. Let me get it pared down to just the base essentials. There we go. We set the MIDI up. Get it to my controller. Can't hear nothing. I think it went a little too, a little too crazy. Um, delete. We need a VCA for amplitude, or basically not a mix. Um, go down to the, uh, down to the VCV rack stuff in your browser, and then we're looking for the, um, VCA here, that, uh, how it allows you to gate things, and then one more thing is we need a ADS, uh, ADSR. So, um, we put the gate into... The ADSR, that one messes with that one, and then your input output goes into here. Um, so we're just going to take the super simple saw that goes into here, and then uh, the output goes into the scope, because I want to see what it looks like on the scope, and then to the output on the other device, and then we use direct sound, and we say to the device. Okay, so, simple saw. If we want to change this to a sine wave, we go to sine wave. Which is all cool and everything. Um, but we're going to talk about FM modulation. Um, uh, the default D uh, VC uh, VCV rack allows FM modulation. Uh, there's also a couple other... Let me put this back to all brands. There's a couple of other ones you could download too. Um, ones from here, uh, the Nozoid, no Nozoid, are we mispronouncing that? And then Bo Bogue Audio has some really good FM operators also. Um, you can use these, one or the other, doesn't really matter. So if I wanted to do that one here, and then here's the output. <laughs> All right, and then what you want to do is duplicate it. And let me just stop using that one. Um, and then, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the FM here. And then I want to go on the VCV there. So not really much there. Kinds of crazy. Okay, so um, let me let me back it off here a bit. Uh, let me take off the FM operator here. So basic sine wave here, and then we add in we uh, add in the out to the FM operator here, and it gives you a different. And then if we can move it up and down, changes the the um, signal 
that's coming through the scope. Kind of cool. So, what we can do is we can just duplicate some more. So, again, we're going to take the thing. We're going to move this out over to this one. We're going to make a serial... Kind of cool, kind of cool. Um, you can add all kinds of stuff to it. Uh, if, if I'm mistaken, um, you could probably add a couple more sources. So let's get a mixer in here. And instead of going in here, let's let's do this. Let's duplicate it a bit more to get involved some more craziness. So I'm going to have this one run this one, have this one run this one, and then we're going to move our pitch cables here. That's all well and good. Now I want to give some um, reverb. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go out. Oh, both channels. I think it's too bucky. This one might be a, been a mistake. Um, let me try the monster for delay. There we go. Try this for delay. I am looking for other things that could go and and try to help the sound out. Let's let's try the surge's phaser. Go and I should be out. All right, let's let's uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around with some super ma uh, super ma massive massive massive. We're gonna add in host FX, and what this does is this is a this is a, a, a plugin I think that or a module that they sell for thirty dollars. Um, it is really cool because you can introduce BSTs into the mix like super massive here, and then I can. Just go in. 
Let's go out. And I, I, I forgot, I need a filter on here. There we go. Go in. We're going to go for a low pass. Okay, and then I want an LFO. Drive. So, wave to, to drive the cut off here. Slow it down a bit. There we go. Also, you can take this and you can mess with the uh, FM operators. Kind of cool stuff if uh, if you get into the uh, producing uh, the the different sounds and stuff like that. Um, I, I figured uh, I've done a lot of phase modulation in the last couple of days. I figured, uh, what the heck? Let's let's do some uh, FM modulation of VCV rack since it's it's like uh, really simple and easy to get into. got this far thanks for listening uh, and I'll see you in the next video